All right, YouTubers, down to my last project on Satan, and that will be the coolant flush, which I'm just gonna take that hose off right there. I got my distilled water and my concentrated coolant. Radiator cap has a little <laughs> locking nut in it. I don't know what the purpose of that is. I don't think they continued that in later models, but don't forget to take that off. And there's a little, there's a little screw right here in the block head, which also drains the water jacket. But I don't know if I'll have to use that or not. I'm just gonna. This is the lowest. This is the lowest part right here. Here's this is the water pump. I'll just pull this hose off, let everything drain out, and then fill it back up with water, run it, drain it, and repeat, rinse and repeat three or four times. And then I'll bring in my distilled water to rinse out most of the tap water. And then I'll add my coolant. Easy peasy. I was just getting ready to suck the fluid out of my recovery tank, coolant recovery tank with this little pump I have here. Really handy little pump, works great for sucking power steering pumps, changing the oil in those or brake reservoirs. And then I came across this. This is the return line, or no, this is the, the well, the return line from the radiator to the to the recovery tank. And it's the little, okay, how well you can see that, but the little nipple is broken off. That's gonna be a hard part to find, if not impossible, I'm guessing. Since I couldn't even, I couldn't find my little bumper for my kickstand, I put the old one back on with a couple washers on both sides to hold it in place, but. So the, it goes right in there that, where that, this is the, this is the cap here, but then right back there, there's a little rubber grommet and it just goes right in there. And in fact, I can still see the plastic piece broken off in there. So a quick and easy fix for this will be to just buy a little brass elbow hose, little brass hose elbow sure O'Reilly has a whole bin full of assortment of sizes and I will use that to to replace that but I'm gonna have to take this tank back off again damn it the nice thing about the Triumph is this tank comes off really easy you got these two little drain lines here I marked the one with the outboard and they go right here on these two little nipples and then it's got a check valve in the in the fuel line and you just push on these two little releases and it comes right off no leaking so that's nice and I just I propped it up on a pillow just <laughs> just to hold it up just enough so I can get get to everything and now at this point I should be able just to stand it up and get the and take off my my sending unit cord but I can't do that with my, I need both hands. So once you get the lines, the two drain lines and the gas line undone, then you can, you can just stand this up. And there's plenty of cord right here to, uh, to get this undone. Just, just push your little plunger and yeah, never naturally. help if I had some fingernails. Ah, there we go. That's it. And the tank is free. So